It's unprecedented that uh, an unlawful act notice has been issued finding um, uh, unlawful conduct by the Labour Party in the respects that uh, we have all mentioned uh, so far and requiring the Labour Party to put forward a program, a remedial program, which uh, can be enforced and which uh, the Commission will have oversight over um, in response. And that is uh, very significant. And in addition, I wanted to mention uh, one or two other points coming out of what Adam uh, said. The first is in relation to what um, a number of commentators over the years have described as something that they call the Livingston formulation. And that is the approach that is often uh, uh, a response when complaints of anti-Semitism are raised. Um, the response is that rather than deal with the uh, complaint in its substance, uh, the bona fides of the person raising the complaint are called into question. There must be an ul ulterior motive. There must be some uh, sort of hidden objective. There must be a sinister approach. This is not uh, a genuine complaint of anti-Semitism. So goes the response. And um, infamously, that has been dubbed the, uh, the Livingston formulation. I think that one of the things that this report does is it gives the Livingston formulation a decent burial. I think that we're unlikely to hear that sort of uh, approach repeated in the way that it has been in the past. And that ties up with what Adam was suggesting in relation to the way the commission has taken on um, the question of uh, smearing people making these uh, complaints. And what the commission says about this is that the effect was to violate the dignity and to contribute to creating an intimidating, hostile, degrading or humiliating environment for Jewish people in the Labour Party uh, and beyond. So um, in being able to address this issue head on, um, there really is something uh, uh, quite deep and far reaching in what the commission has found. Uh, that was the, the second point I wanted to touch on. The third relates to political interference. Again, um, very unusual to, uh, to see a statutory body making a finding that uh, the leadership at the time of the Labour Party have acted in a way that interferes with the integrity of the uh, uh, disciplinary process. But that is what the Commission has found. Um, they have found a practice of political interference in the decision-making, which they say amounts to indirect discrimination. And they describe political interference and they define it as influencing the decision-making um, or taking decisions on complaints outside the established process. That is what the commission has found in relation to the office of the, uh, of, of the leader of the opposition and their approach to disciplinary complaints. Um, and the final point uh, that I wanted to make relates to their findings about a failure of leadership. There, what the commission has said in its report is that um, this failure of leadership enabled a culture to arise. And as the commission describes it, that culture did not do enough at best did not do enough to, present, to prevent anti-Semitism. And at worst, it could be seen to accept anti-Semitism. Again, a remarkably far-reaching finding about the culture uh, that, um, uh, that was allowed to uh, grow and exist within the Labour Party.